Hi everyone, so I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and you can see on my channel you have we have most of the basics of Moho you can check it out here. Now let's talk about masking. It's so simple to do the masking. So I thought of creating a very basic character. So in my case I'm just going to create a circle. Alright so for this circle I will add a outline too. So I just go here and then select it. I added the outline and I'm creating another new layer for the eyes and this is kind of like going to be like an alien creature so it will have weird looking circular eyes on both sides like this. Don't get, get confused okay. This is just an alien creature. Now I duplicated the eye to my other side as well. Now I have something like this eyes on both the sides. So I have all of these on individual layers and I thought of giving a weird looking hair as well. So now I'm just going to get that tool and think of drawing something. Alright so I thought of planning to draw something like this. Let's do this very roughly and I know it's looking weird that's fine and now you just have to select all of these together that's how you create the mask and you make sure to put this all into a group so i'm just going to press group with selection and now masking always works if layers are inside a group and that main group should be the masking group to do that just double click on that group go here to the masking tab and press hide all okay the opposite of hide all is the other one the reveal all but let's press hide all and press apply now as you can see everything is getting hidden now let's press reveal all and press apply now you will see that everything below your very last layer which is that circle head and have a look here here you can see the masking icon so as the masking icon for all of these except expect expect for the last layer which is that main layer which is the circle i'm just going to again press hide all and apply and now you will see one thing if I press OK and when I zoom in, you will start to see that here just not perfect, right? All of these edges. Don't worry, it, it is always perfect, but Moho does something like this. It uses not circle, it uses polygons because to increase the performance. Now if I press Ctrl R when we render, it won't have those issues as you can see. That solves the problem. One more thing, let's say you want the main circle, which is this head circle's outline to stay in okay and if you want the eyes to get hidden under that outline you just have to double click on that last layer and go to masking and make sure you press this now once you press ok as you can see that it just does it correctly also here one more time this polygons if you need to see the final preview press ctrl r then you will see we don't have those issues in the final preview so I converted this group to a bone layer and I also added a bone here and the bone is called B1. Better to rename it but I'm just going to press new and press ok for this and remember go for like let's say 48 or somewhere or even do it at 24 that's fine now. You just have to rotate it but I should have done this earlier while you are on 0 remember to reduce that bone strength and while I'm at 40. Eight, I will just do the head turn like that. Now I'm just going to select that main circle in the background and select it and do something like this. Okay. And now I want the eyes, this one to move all the way here and the other one just to go a little bit to that side. And of course for the mouth, let's select it and let's push it somewhere here and do this so that you will see the head is turning with that masking that's really cool looking now very interesting of course the hair we have to completely fix it as well i'm just going to move the hair as well something like this or else what i highly recommend is to move the hair just click drag from this side and do it in this direction that fixes most of the problem if you do like this it will look weird you will see that it's not that right but not that realistic but when we do something like this it's much better see now it kind of like seems like it is rotating because the perspective of this is changing but if i just move it to the side the perspective of this won't change but when that perspective changes it gives that illusion like it is really getting rotated now these things you have to fix it by yourself now so i'm selecting this point and moving at least right here that fixes most of that problem and that's not bad so i'm on my main line now and i have selected that main 
bone group and while the bone is selected press this another action for to turn the head to the other side and you know what to do do it the other way around and you know what to do select that bigger circle and then do something like this like this all right and for this and this one moves here like this and all of these moves as well and notice how i'm going to do for the hair i will do like this and that's mostly it i'll select these points and just move it move them like this so that's not bad at all so once you're done double click on the main line and if you want to know how to create all of these actions and all of these properly to study fully about actions you will have to watch my video on actions now one more thing go to your main layer and select this and we have to completely add that constraint and this one will put it minus 90 the other one is just plus 90 and that's it now while you're on a frame take that bone transform tool and do this and you can see this is not bad at all this is looking really cool and this is one scenario where you will do the masking there are many scenarios like for an example if you want to close the eyelid see now i can select that eyelid and i can create an action for that eyelid closing and below also i can add for more of that cartoon look now i can close open and here's another example to move rotate the eyes see to make this person maybe look that side or this side all of this up down all of this can be easily done with the masking so on the next video let's talk about two things that is the raster wrapping and vector wrapping.